Hello guys, you are mostly welcome to the Hex on our YouTube channel. Okay, then let's see how we could make a simple but efficient waterproof wire joint ruin by Mega Tester. What? Mega Tester? It's okay, you don't need to know about it. It's just a meter to clarify our joint is actually watertight, right? Okay, then let's see what we need to do this. We have here a wire stripper, a gas torch. Oh, once again, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's okay. You are well okay with the simple lighter and again we have here some uh, heat sleeving I have both type of heat sleeving one is uh, transparent and other one is non transparent you are okay with what you have and here again we have some uh, glue gun and some lead if you need to solder the joint uh, and actually you need the wire <laughs> right okay let's proceed Make sure you are applying right amount of glue to cover the whole joint but not too much which could prevent to insert your heat sleeving. Confirm that you have covered the total area. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's the gas torch. You can simply use a simple lighter to achieve this. Make sure you do not uh, overheat, unless otherwise the heat sleeving may blow up and glue will be written to out. So we are done with our procedure to complete a waterproof wire joint. Okay, this is our setup to test our wire at 500 volt using Mega Tester. In this case, uh, we are using the Mega as an insulation tester. This is a Koyatsu Japan Mega Tester which has the capability to test using 1000 volt in the range of 2220 mega ohms. Mega's two probes are connected to the green and white end-to-end -end crocodile clips. Other end of the white clip have dip in the water bucket and other crocodile clip is connected to the water dipped our test sample wire ends, right? So let's start our testing procedures. Let's see check it with the 20 mega ohm. It's a overload. That must be 20, it must be greater than 20 mega ohm. So we set it to 200 ohm. It's same result. So let's see, change it to 2000 mega ohm. Oops, my volt. It's same result. That means the insulation is greater than 2000 mega ohms. It's almost it's isolated from the water. So let's drop our prop to the water. Oh, you get zero mega ohms. That is, that is the connection is almost connected through the water. Let's check it again, and we remove the other prop from the water. It's also same result, right? Hope you have enjoyed our video. If you do, please subscribe to our channel. 
and click the bell icon to get the latest updated from our channel. Okay then let's meet with another video and have a great day.